What if you don't need to live in pain and suffering? What if you could give up your karma and have a life of abundance and joy? What if you could start creating magic and miracles that you never thought were possible? Get ready to listen, share, and experience the magic that is you. Now, here's the host of Creating Abundance with Ease radio show, Dr. Helen Gitlovich. Welcome. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease, and today our show is Karma or Choice. I'm a medical doctor who became Access Consciousness Facilitator and Akashic Record Teacher and Consultant, as well as you can see podcast host who's always searching for tools to create your life. I invite people to a different possibility with your health, money, and relationship through private session and classes around the world. And today I actually have a guest, Lale Hancock, who is an amazing facilitator with Access Consciousness as well. And today our show is karma or choice. How many of you believe in karma? What if I told you that you do have a choice? Let's play with those concepts. Let's see where you're choosing karma and where you are actually choosing. And we'll have a conversation with Lale today. Kind of spur of a moment. Because yeah. Lale has been visiting me for a couple of days. Just kind of like by choice, not by karma. Who knows? Maybe it's a karma too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can kind of like tell your side of the story a little bit. How did you end up here today? <laughs> well, first, I'm so grateful to be here with Helen and all of you who are listening today or if you're listening in the future. And um, the interesting thing is that, um, you know, the last uh, few years I've been traveling a lot. And then, of course, many of us with COVID, our travel plans altered. <laughs> and, <laughs> to say it mildly. <laughs> to say it mildly. And I got the pleasure of actually being in Portugal for a year. And uh, since April, I've been traveling. And, you know, one of the in interesting things is that... Um, this whole concept of karma or choice, you know, I used to believe that a lot of things just happen because they happen, you know, mm -hmm. there were yeah. coincidences or other things like that. But I realized, no, actually, these are things that I may have chosen. However, it may not have been chosen at the moment. So if you guys don't know me, let me just give a little brief overview Please. of who I, I am at the moment. Um, <laughs> So I started my career actually on the path of becoming a doctor, a pediatrician, and uh, realized my style of medicine that I'd like to practice was not what was being offered in the late 80s, early 90s, um, and decided to pursue my other love and passion, which was business. And the last 30, 32 years, I really have worked with lots of different kinds of people, organizations in expanding, growing, making things healthier from within the business and then to the client. And uh, about 10 years ago, found Access Consciousness and realized so much of what I thought was my stress, my problems or anything else really wasn't. The level of stress that I had was one of them was my ability to actually perceive information and awareness from others. So picking up everyone else's stress, everyone else's, you know, problems and being that problem solver oh that I God. was. None of us do that. No, <laughs> never done that. <laughs> and especially like when we're talking about karma or choice, a lot of times, especially doing Akasha Krakers, it was all about karma, but about changing it. Yes. It's because... Yes, karma is real. We haven't finished certain things in a past life. If you don't believe in past life, that's fine. Because karma is actually valid and relevant in this life when we didn't finish certain things in this lifetime. Let's say something we did as a child and something that we decided, something we chose. And it plays out over and over again as adults. I know with my marriages, 
-hmm. It was so funny to look at the first husband alcoholic, the second drug addict. It's almost getting worse until I kind of like let it go. Well, you acknowledged it. I acknowledged it. And yet I still kept doing it because mm -hmm. it is almost like uh, something that pushes toward the wrong choice. There is no right or wrong, but we decided the wrong choice or the karmic choice instead of just choosing. Because to me, karma is where we don't have a choice and we choose out of habit, out of something we didn't finish, something subconscious, unconscious, maybe because our parents believe in that, maybe because our ancestors created that versus choice is just a choice. Yeah, which is actually interesting because that's how I landed in Chicago last week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's funny, you know, 10 years ago, finding access consciousness, my life was very different then, you know, I, wife, mother, you know, <laughs> 10 years ago, actually, I had my own management consulting company, which I still do. Um, but it was really more of, you know, this life that I had put in a package. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, with the tools of access consciousness, I've actually discovered, you know, for me, I love traveling, which I always did before, but I always looked at it as travel for vacation or travel for here, this moment. There was an excuse to travel instead of allowing my life to include travel. Exactly. It was always getting away. For me, the same. It was like getting away from my life, going on vacation so I don't have to deal with what's going on in the present. Mm -hmm. Almost, well, not almost, an escape. Yeah. to the fantasy land mm -hmm. yeah versus now and for a few years in access it was so also purpose but it was more of a choice okay i'm choosing this class i'm going there i'm choose to facilitate here choose to facilitate italy i choose facilitating in latin america in guatemala in el salvador all of those were choices yeah versus a necessity of going away but isn't that this interesting thing? Because we talk about this in Access all the time. Like, you know, when you grow up, you learn from your family or your teacher, mm -hmm. like, okay, this is how you do math. This is how you count. This is how, if you're learning a language, there's this like hows. But we are never guided to choose. No, more than that, it's always either or, mm -hmm. right choice, wrong choice, chocolate or vanilla. What if I want strawberry? Or yeah. what if I want mix? Yeah. A lot of times it's not even available. It's black and white, that duality of this world, the polarity that we always bombarded pretty much everywhere. Look at the news. It's either right or wrong. Or good. good or bad good or bad it's yeah. good for you it's bad for you this food is good for you this food is bad for you you need to go to organic if you don't eat organic you'll get bad thing happen to your body it's all no choice universe to me yeah and the funniest thing years ago before kind of like access before a lot of things i've been doing with spiritual modalities different teachings i remember i had a mentor who asked me, what's your choice? And I says, I don't have a choice. Mm. And she looked at me and said, uh, not choosing is actually a choice. Yeah. And I looked at her and said, what? It was not even in my universe that not choosing or choosing not to have a choice is still a choice. Yeah. Which was like, ah. Uh -huh. And I argued with her at that moment. <laughs> We're talking about almost 30 years ago. Uh, I'm like, no, you don't understand. I don't have a choice. This is not choosing not to have a choice. <laughs> it took me a couple of years to realize, yeah. I Now I kind of like understand what she meant. And I'm like, Sherry, and she was amazing being an amazing um, mentor. 
And it was not, it was woman within at that time, but she did much more than that. And she was a very conscious being. I still miss her. She passed on. With all of that, the choice is very light. Mm -hmm. The no choice or the karma or all the thing that we choose either by aligning and agreeing or resisting and reacting. <clears throat> and a lot of like that resisting and reacting and aligning and agreeing is part of karma. Mm -hmm. Because it's all aligning and agreeing with karma or resisting and reacting to karma. Mm -hmm. In Akashic Record, we talk a lot about forgiveness, which breaks the cycle. It stops from aligning and agreeing or resisting and reacting. In the access, we use a different tool, 10 seconds increment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that also gets you out of karma because karma is about past, present, and future. And the funniest thing people think of karma on the past, it's not. You can create karma in this 10 seconds. Mm. You can create karma in the future by projecting certain things. You can create karma in the past just by remembering certain things in a certain way. Maybe it even didn't happen, but if you remember it that way, you're creating it. Our brain does not distinguish between what's real and what's in our brain, memory or thoughts and feelings and emotions. It's like, close your eyes for a second. And if you ever had lemon, think of it that you have a slice of lemon in your mouth. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that you started salivating? That your body reacted to the thought exactly the same way like you had a slice of lemon in your mouth. Mm, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, because the brain does not distinguish those things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. We don't talk about karma. I mean, like, you know, for me being in the, you know, even in the medical field or if I was in technology or corporate America or whatever it was, we never talk about karma, but we would talk about, hey, you know, the reference points you have or the points of views you have or mm -hmm. the things that you've decided. Yeah. So, you know, what if karma actually comes in different forms yeah. it, depending on where you are? Mm -hmm. And, you know, even I think of reference points and access. So everything that happened 10 seconds ago, yesterday, the day before, whatever, last year, these are all reference points. And by reference points, we actually almost like take that moment and freeze it. Not just freeze it. We bring it in the present. Well, I meant freeze it as a point of view that you keep bringing yeah. into your everyday life. Exactly. But we don't just do everyday life of present. We also do our futures. Mm-hmm. So one of those points of views you just took on, you just created lifetimes worth it. <laughs> Instead of that choice of that 10 seconds. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Interesting. And it's time for our first break of the show. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Inspired Choices Network and with the guest Lolly Hancock, and we will be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past, and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma, or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com.
Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome forward, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich. I'm Creating Abundance with Ease. And today our show topic is karma or choice. And we have a guest, Lale Hancock. And uh, before we went on the break, we were talking about <clears throat> karma and that it's not necessarily from the past life. It can be past, present, future. You can create it any way, shape or form. And now we will kind of like, let's talk a little bit more about about what is karma like because for a lot of people it means it just means something so Lali what does it mean for you when we talk about karma you know it's interesting I hadn't really <clears throat> thought about karma in a long time um but like I said before the break for me karma is like all these decisions and judgments and conclusions and you know I'm going to be this and then locking it and then having every action that you take forward from that moment represent that. Mm -hmm. That's what karma is for me. Exactly. And that's what it is. Because a lot of people think of, okay, so I killed somebody a million years ago and uh, now I have to pay for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that pay forward or pay backwards and all of that. In reality, it's all our points of view, like you said, it's what creates that karma. Mm. If we let go of those points of view, of all of that guilt, shame, blame, regret, all those what we call destructor implants, the karma disappears. Because yeah. that's what drives karma. All that um, programming that we put in, let's say we offended somebody or hurt somebody's feelings, and then we feel bad for months, years, and that person feels anger and shame and kind of like all of those emotions, yeah. they go in a loop yeah. where it continues. It, a lot of times it creates PTSD yeah. where we kind of punish ourselves in some ways. Yeah. To me, that's what karma is self-punishment system exactly so if somebody doesn't punish us we punish them but in the reality there is also other people punish us because they feel anger and they start hurting us you know how like eye for an eye oh that and one that one and mm. then the world goes blind because <laughs> we have only two eyes right <laughs> that's so funny it is yeah i think i for choice exactly yeah let's choose choice let's choose <laughs> choice and choice supersedes any karma supersedes any decision supersedes anything and that's what actually creates mm. uh we're doing foundation yeah yesterday and today is day two yesterday we started and we are on chapter of creation and four yeah. elements of creation one of them is choice yeah to me, choice is extremely light. You choose in the moment. And it's not right, it's not wrong. Maybe not the best choice in the moment if something doesn't go our ways. Yeah, 
But see, this whole world of choice is something that we knew from kids. Kids get to choose whatever they want, mm -hmm. whatever they want to play with, who they want to hang out with. It's not until the parents get involved that they realize, no, do this, do that. But other than that, kids choose for themselves in 10 seconds. And then when they're done with that, or they don't want to do it anymore, they just go to the next thing, yeah. right? So what if we would be willing to do that? And that's how I got to Chicago. Exactly. Really? Yeah, that's exactly that's how, story, how you choose. So we were in Mexico. I was there for two weeks. We had two incredible events happening in the advanced body class and the Being You Certified Facilitator License Program that I was renewing. And I, I left early. She <laughs> left early. She came and did it from Chicago. And um, it's funny because when we were at the advanced body class, I kept getting this like feeling, this awareness, I'm going to Chicago. And I said, you're welcome. Yeah. And then I really didn't know where I was going because I tend to follow the energy. And if I ask a question and it's very light and expansive, I know that that's a yes for me. Mm -hmm. And if I ask and it's heavy or contracted, then that means no. So I was asking my body, I'm like, where are we off to next? <laughs> Because I knew we were going to go to Italy in the second week of July. But until then, where am I going? And uh, I kept getting not yet, not yet, not yet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. So I was talking to some friends who were going to Mexico City. And when I asked Mexico City, my whole world expanded. I'm like, okay, if I go to Mexico City, what will my life and the world be like in five years? Wow, the space. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's a tool. You look at something that you're choosing, not a decision, but you ask what my life will be in five years if I choose it or not choose it. And you look at the energy, if it's light and expanding, that's probably a choice will create your life. And if it's heavy and congested, probably not the best choice that you could be making in the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's great. Because some people have no idea. Some people just listen to this show for the first time sure. ever. Sure. Well, welcome. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so when I asked, it was that. And I was like, okay. So it was the last day of our class on Sunday. And on Monday, I was going to drive to Mexico City with some friends. And I was going to do different things with them there. I was like, okay, cool. And then... I was in my hotel room. I was packing and it was around midnight, <clears throat> Sunday night into Monday morning. And the whole idea of going to Mexico City started contracting. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I started asking some questions and I'm like, I'm going to call a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you have those uh, game shows, game shows <laughs> the uh, cheating thing. That was one of them. <laughs> Call a friend. <laughs> Ask a question. Ask a question. So I had, um, I was in um, Puerto Vallarta and I knew in Turkey it was morning time. So I messaged a friend and I was like, hey, are you awake? Can you ask me some questions? And she was like, yes, because we always talk to each other and assist each other. And um, so she asked me a question of like, okay, if you go to Mexico City, what will your life be like in five years? And if you don't, what will your life be like in five years? And then she asked, hmm, the energy is really interesting here, you know? And I realized like my body was saying no more Mexico City. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Cool. So where are we off to? Hmm, relax. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I kept getting is that relax one more day and where we are. And I realized like, you know, I had been in these classes for two weeks and doing different things with people. My body hadn't really had time for itself. Just a moment to relax and just receive I love from the it. earth, receive from me, receive from everything that we created already. And all I knew is I called downstairs to the reception and just asked to extend my stay one more day. Mm -hmm. That's all I knew. The next morning I get up 
And all my friends, a bunch of my friends were in line for the, the PCR test and the antibody test because they're going to be traveling <laughs> to different parts of the world. And I'm like, oh, I have time. I could do this. I don't know where I'm going. So I don't know what test I require. Mm -hmm. And um, I went in line and I was like, excuse me, for me to set up an appointment for this, what's required? Mm -hmm. What do I do? Who do I talk to? And she goes, well, when are you traveling? And I'm like, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow. She's like, where are you going? I'm like, I don't know yet. <laughs> she goes, okay, you need to stand in line now because we're going to close at one o'clock. Now it was 930 in the morning or uh -huh. something. She's like, we're booked. And I was like, okay. So I stand in line and I realized standing in line, I was able to assist some people because mm -hmm. then I realized the certificates they're handing out have the wrong date on it. Ah, So the choice of standing in line created greater for me and for created others. for others. Wow. Which I wouldn't have known at that moment I was going to be standing in line. Yeah. I thought I'm going to get my test in the afternoon. And then I go to the pool and I'm looking at flights and I'm like, okay, where am I going? Mm -hmm. America. Sounds good. If I go to DC, which is where I, you know, have my, my things. Um, okay. Let's look at flights. So I start looking at flights going to DC. And I realized for me to get from where I was to DC, I had to stop somewhere, Chicago, Houston, Denver. And the one that popped first was Chicago. And 13 hour layover. 13 hour layover. <laughs> and I was like, crazy, why would I need 13 hour layover? But it's Chicago so I can see Helen. Mm -hmm. And so I call Helen and I'm like, listen, I'm looking at this flight. And when I ask the question, I get a layover. Mm -hmm. How about you come over to my hotel? We'll run bars, body process this, and we'll play during that time. And she was like, yeah. And why don't you just come to my house? And I was like, oh, when, when she said that, when she offered that, that choice was so expansive that I didn't even have to ask if I choose this, mm -hmm. what will my life be like? that immediate expansion occurred. Yep. And then I was like, okay. So I was just about to book the flight and my finger could not push send, like purchase. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Cause that's what's gonna happen when you choose. You receive information, you have awareness that comes up. And the awareness that was coming up is why go to DC? Yeah, cause you can stay in Chicago. What's in DC? My stuff. Okay. What else? But in Chicago, it's Helen <laughs> and Rachel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so here we are. Result of choice, not karma, just plain choice. And I found with karma, a lot of times, that's where that heavy and contraction comes in. Versus when it's a choice, it's very light. Hmm. And it's time for our second break of the show. And we'll continue discussing karma versus choice, how to distinguish, how to play with karma, how to let go of the karma. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, today with Lale Hekaka, the guest on Inspired Choices Network. And we will be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past, and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma, or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. 
Dr. Kitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlovich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today, our show topic is karma or choice. And some of you know me, some of you don't. If you're joining for the first time, um, this is Creating Abundance with Ease show no longer just radio show, there are TV shows, and I've been facilitating classes around the world. And before we went on a break with Lale Hancock, we were discussing what's the difference between karma and choice. And if we can get out of karma and choose more, how much our life is different, how much lighter it gets. Uh, I love our mantra. All of life comes to us with is Joan Gui, which is access consciousness. And if you're not familiar with access consciousness, you can go to accessconsciousness.com. It was created and founded by Gary Douglas and co-founded with uh, Dane Hare, Dr. Dane Hare. And there are lots of classes. And if you never had your bars run, please do get a practitioner from the website or if you know somebody, it shifts the karma probably like nothing. Well, there are probably some other tools that will shift it. But because we were talking in the first two parts of, of the show about our point of view creating reality, our point of view is what karma is. It's actually when you start detoxing your brain from the points of view, either through the bars or verbal processes or simply in your body processes, it actually changes your karma, changes your life. Um, I know, Lale, your life has changed in the last 10 years. Oh, my gosh. And I just realized I've been in access almost 10 years as well. My life has been changing as well. So is there any favorite tool that you would kind of like recommend people to get out of their karma into the choice. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a million tools that access has. <laughs> <clears throat> a million, I think it's more than that. Yeah, you're right. It's probably more. You know, one thing about the bars that you mentioned is that you lie down and someone touches 32 points on your head and there's no effort involved. So I think one of the things with karma, the first thing is like everything you've defined what karma is and everything you define what karma is not, would you be willing to actually set that free and yeah, just let it go it. and just, just melt, melt it. it, destroy it and create it, let it go. Yeah. Okay. Because if you have that point of view, yeah, it holds it yeah. in your life yeah. as something true and real. It also holds it, holds you from being you. Yeah. And it locks in your body. We don't realize this incredible body that we have actually has no point of views at all whatsoever. Okay, absolutely. Not. No However, yeah. what you think you create. So mm -hmm. all those things you're thinking are these points of views 
that your body locks into the body. And so the bars is one of those things. Um, for me, you know, it's really interesting. Like this one question that I asked just starts that conversation. And really you have to go into those four steps of creation. Yeah. Question, choice, choice possibilities. possibilities, and contribution. Mm -hmm. And when we are willing to stop getting the answers, but we're willing to become the question, like, what is this? And do I even require this anymore? And allow your body to guide you. When it's light, it's usually more yes. When it's heavy, it's usually that it doesn't resonate for you. So it might be a no. Or it might be not now. Or not now. You're right. Because sometimes we kind of like forget that certain things kind of like come into existence at certain times. And yes, time is not real. We talked about that a lot in the prior shows. And yet, because a lot of people believe in it and created it, it's real in this reality. So sometimes certain things don't show up until a certain time. And if you start doing it before, it takes much more effort because the universe has to align itself. There are those like quantum entanglements and random entanglements. This, those little particles of consciousness, little particles of magic. And if you're familiar with law of attraction, if you're familiar with creative visualization, it all talks about you think of something and it creates. So if there is some creation that ready to be created, it sometimes the universe has to align itself. And in this reality, it takes time. Mm -hmm. But I get it's not just the universe, it's also you. <laughs> right. We have to be ready to receive this <laughs> and willing to give it up. <laughs> exactly. And not to have any points of view. Yeah. No expectations, rejection, and rejection. And this way, when we ask, is it now or later, when we get like about something to create, that choice. If it's a little bit heavier than we would like it to be, we can always ask um, that it's now or later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see that the what I just shared though, the light and heavy is actually really important. It starts this communication with you, your body, but also the future. Because when you ask the question, what will my life be like in five years if I choose this, you're allowing the future you, the futures to also send you whispers of that. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I, this light and heavy is something that it's not just like, oh, I do it, I learn it, and then now I perfected it. It really is everyday journey of the awarenesses that you become aware of and allowing the muscle to even get stronger and stronger and stronger. I don't know if that stronger is the right word, but like you keep enhancing this muscle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you said, okay, one thing I don't know that we talked about is judgments, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we haven't Do talked talk about, about judgments. No, we haven't talked in this. We talked in the previous one, okay. but we haven't talked in this one. Yeah. But Judgment is that polarity. Exactly. Right and wrong, good and bad. It is the judgment because there is no true right and wrong. And yeah. if, even with the choice, there is no right or wrong choice. When we are looking for a right or wrong choice, it's a decision-making process that we learn as kids, mm -hmm. as adults, as in school, in the media, parents, everybody tells us, when is your decision when when will you make your decision mm -hmm. yeah what decision have you cho chosen or what is your decision it's always about decision yeah. people never talk about choice yeah and decisions are always connected to karma to judgment to everything that we are not yeah because a lot of it is what light is who we are and what we are it's about being it's about being us 
when it's heavy, it's all those lies. Mm -hmm. We talk about what's true for you is light and the lies are heavy. And let's do a little experiment. I love doing experiments in the show. So close your eyes and kind of like imagine yourself being in the nature, on the beach, in the forest, where there are no people. <sighs> cool. That's usually what's light for you. Now let's erase it. And think of a moment in your life, this lifetime or another, whatever it is, when somebody lied to you or betrayed you. How does it feel in your body now? Like to me, it's like that contracts and, and if you don't see me, if you're just listening to the show, I'm moving my hands closer together and making the space smaller. It's contraction, it's heavy. And again, think of the space in the forest and just melt that heaviness. That's simple. Mm -hmm. It's all about our perception of the universe. It's all about our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. If we let go of them, a lot of times we actually be who we are. A lot of thoughts, feelings, and emotions are not even ours. And we talk a lot in the other shows about what does it belong to. Yeah. But you know, that tool, that one tool, like whose karma are you physically actualizing right now anyway? Exactly. Is it even yours? Is it someone else's or is it something else? Because that one tool, I mean, I just did a video the other day. I'm like, <laughs> I wish I learned this tool when I was five years old. You know, <laughs> like, like how much easier would my life have been if I knew that, you know, sometimes when I have thoughts in my head or an idea or I go into judging myself or whatever, like it may not actually be mine. Exactly. It could be that it's just all this information that's in the world that, you know, your radio waves, cause you're so <laughs> psychic, you know, you, you could perceive things like you're just picking up someone saying, Hey, you know, I'm bad. And you pick it up and you think you're bad or life is difficult and then you pick it up as oh life has to be difficult or I have to work hard to make money and you like pick up that concept and that point of view instead of wow okay how many of these points of views about whatever it is you have going on in your life you know anywhere you have difficulty anything you perceive you're stuck ask what is this and whose lies what lies and how many lies am I using to hold it in place. Exactly. And what's interesting, even if it's past life, yeah. it's still not your life. Yeah. Still not yours. It was a different life, different body, different people. Yeah. And you're still holding on to that. Yeah. Can we just let it all go? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can we start fresh right here, right now? <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for our uh, third break of the show. It's kind of like coming to the end and we will be talking more and we'll be talking more about what's coming up next the classes and next week's show after we come back you've been listening to creating abundance with ease with myself dr helen gidlovich on inspired choices network and we'll be right back Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past, and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma, or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Creating Abundance with Ease show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, 
Join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich. I'm creating abundance with ease. And today, our show topic is karma or choice with a guest in my house, Lale Hancock. And Lale, I think um, we were talking a lot about karma, but your class is coming up. Mm -hmm. So you have conscious vagina class this weekend. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Because I'm guessing it's also related to choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's interesting. A few years ago, I was facilitating a right voice for you class, and it just seemed like the topic, just everything that was coming up as karma, as past experiences, as limitations, really kept centering to certain part of people's bodies. Okay. We had men and women in this class. <laughs> and yet the topic kept coming up with vaginas. And I was like, okay, this is so funny. It came up so much that I really had to ask some questions of what is it that I'm aware of here <laughs> that it really requires to be created. And so what actually got created is Conscious Vagina. It's a program. It includes workshops, um, sessions, and all sorts of different things related to your body and you. So it's not just about vagina and it's not just for women, but it's like when we are willing to include all parts of us, including all parts of our bodies in our creations, in our lives, in our finances, in our business, there's this oneness that you are actually giving permission to be, you're choosing to have. And so when there is that oneness, it's all of you that is actually putting this energy forward, whether it's communicating with others, whether it's being quiet and listening to others, whether it's, you know, generating, bringing in new business or, or expanding your finances, it's all of you included in it. And so um, it's interesting because it's a class that people see the title and immediately they think, oh, we're going to learn how to have more sex or better sex. <laughs> yeah, that could be one if you like, because when you include all parts of your body, that sensualness, that, you know, intimacy with you and others expands. Um, and I also get people who write me messages of like their level of confidence change. Of course. Yeah. Because they're including uh, more of them instead of separating and judging, you know? And it's not just for women, as I understand, no. because uh, we've been men, we've been women, different lifetimes, and that's where the karma comes in. When you include all the body parts, you let go of your points of view that this is wrong. You don't talk about it. You don't have sex. Sex is taboo. Yeah. Vagina is taboo. Penis is taboo. Yeah. It's not acceptable. When we include all of it, oh, we have a couple of birds as guests today <laughs> uh, listening to the show as well, <laughs> which means it's including everything and everyone in the choice, in the, not in the car, well, including even karma. Yeah. What if we didn't resist the karma? Yeah. What if we included everything? Because when we resist something, it persists. If we align and agree with something, it persists. It doesn't matter as long as we are not in allowance, it's there. Yeah. And I just wanted to remind people that creating abundance with ease, different topics each week, is on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Time. And you can always check what is your time around the world if you'd like to hear it live. Otherwise, it goes as a podcast to multiple stations, including iTunes, Spotify, um, YouTube, etc. Uh, it will be in Facebook. It will be in Instagram. You can always look at my Instagram, Lala Instagram, Facebook, social media everywhere, and SoundCloud as well. It's also on TV. 
um, I believe it's Binge TV, uh, which is, um, you can watch all episodes. It's now, I think, over 100 episodes available on Inspired Choices Network website. And next week, I'm guessing we'll be talking more about Karma or Choice will be part two. Today, we were talking about access consciousness and that view on karma or choice. Next week, I'll be talking more about Akashic Records and past lives, how you can clear the karma and have choice in your life, how it relates to your relationships, how karma plays a role in your money, in your health, because all of it is related. Because mm -hmm. Think of it, if you're trying to punish yourself, a lot of people start creating dis-ease in their body. As you said, Lale, body doesn't have points of view. It just starts creating whatever we think. Yeah. And I remember when I was still doing creative visualization, law, law of attraction, so I used to teach those classes years ago. And I always said, that you can create from the desires or from the fears. Because yeah. the body, the universe, they don't have any point of view. They don't have right and wrong. Mm -hmm. They pretty much kind of like, like a genie in a bottle. Your wish is my command. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. True, true story. And I remember when I was doing creative visualization about um, finding a spouse and I wrote down every single thing that I would like to see in my future husband and guess what I got everything correct yep except one line where I said no and guess what the universe does not hear no <laughs> it does not hear negatives <laughs> so it created that it created it or you I created chose it. it. I chose it. Ah. I chose it. Yeah. But that's where that choice, no choice, or unawareness comes in because we can choose consciously, unconsciously, or anti consciously. That was anti conscious choice. Well, and that's why we gave you the tool earlier of if I choose this, what will my life, you can include the world my life in the world be like in five years yeah if i don't choose this what will my life my life in the world be like in five years because we the future keeps changing every 10 seconds the future is changing but when you ask that question you're giving you permission to start tapping in to that choice but until you choose that information that awareness those energies cannot be available to you because you haven't chosen them yet. And every 10 seconds, you have a new world to choose from. So when you choose, you get this little reminder of, ah, yes, this will create my future of the future I desire to have. Or no, this is actually going to deplete the future. Or decay. Decay or destroy. Future. That's actually the better word. Decay. Yeah, decay I can't remember. Yeah. Decay or destroy your future. Because a lot of times we are not even realizing how our choices affect our lives, our bodies, our money, and people around us. Because certain choices will affect just us, and certain choices will affect everyone around us, even the world. And sometimes it's a small choice, sometimes it's a big choice, and a lot of times we don't even realize how that little choice affects globally and our show is coming to the end you've been listening to helen gitlevich i'm creating abundance with ease and we will be back next week at 11 o'clock central standard time with more information about karma about other tools of access consciousness Perfect. Bye. Thank you for choosing to listen to Creating Abundance with Ease radio show. Dr. Helen Gitlovich will return next Wednesday 
at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have fun using the tools of the week in your life and start creating magic in your life and your body.